الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم نعم um, There's a brother named Abdurrahman Hassan and people are saying that he did not seek knowledge as he says he did and he does not have a tezkiah from the scholars so what do you say about the doubt that one must have a tezkiah from the scholars in order to teach and what do you say about the claims that this brother did not seek knowledge well, uh, our brother Abu Salma Abdurrahman Hassan from the UK you only know good of him I personally only know good of him. We don't praise anyone in front of Allah. We don't vouch for anyone. But we speak about what we know. And we only know good of him in his aqidah and in his manhaj. He's teaching the pure aqidah of the salaf. It is upon the clear manhaj of the salaf. It's very clear. By the words he speaks, it's clear. You can only judge someone by how he speaks and what he portrays himself with. You don't judge people by their hearts. That's number one. All right, that's number one. That's what that's what I know of him. Personally, I've met him several times now. You know, and that is what I've seen from him. Now, the issue of him saying that he studied somewhere and he did not, I don't know about that. And I don't think someone like him would say that. I don't think he would say that. You know, I don't think he'd say that. But whoever said that, he needs to check that. Whoever accused him of that, you know, everybody is innocent until you're proven guilt. And I don't think that will happen. Now the issue of the question is, oh, can we teach without tazkiyah? You know, this common thing like you're mentioning before we start. We have some people in the West who are like that. You know, this is wrong. This is completely wrong. It is only the people who are affected with hezbiyah, but it's subtle, you know. It's light hezbiyah, transparent hezbiyah. You don't see it, but it's there. You know, you have to get a stamp from the sheikh before you speak. No, it's not like that. Sheikh Abdul Muhsin Abad was asked this in the Sharh of Sunan Ibn Majah, when he was explaining Sunan Ibn Majah. I'm just going to mention the meaning of what he was asked. Same thing. Do you have to have a tazkiyah from a sheikh to teach? He said, no. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, what? Balighu anni wa law ayah. Convey from me, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said, what? Convey from me even if it's one ayah. Whatever you have of knowledge, which you know, you are well versed in it, you know that whatever you're speaking about, you speak about it. Sheikh Saleh Fawzan, if I remember, was asked something similar. He said, no. Especially in the lands where there's no ulama. So here in Canada, who are you waiting for? To give you a stamp, to give, for you to give down. Or in the UK or anywhere else. Yes, if someone has tazkiyah from the Mashaykh, they know him very well. Okay, that's good. But it's not a condition to do da'wah. It is not a condition to do da'wah, period. That is something which is affirmed. What you know, you speak of. What you don't know, you don't speak of. Very simple. That's how Islam works. That's how da'wah works. You know? Because on the other side, you can have someone have a tazkiyah. Or the other way of the tazkiyah is the shahada. He has a university degree. But we know, people have university degrees, but they're nothing. They are nothing, literally nothing. Like he has a degree, but if you look at him in his level of knowledge, you know, empty, empty. And someone never went to the university, but he's way, way ahead of him in, in knowledge, in ilm. You know, and we discussed this last time, not this month, the other month. Not everybody has access to the ulama, but there's other ways of seeking knowledge. There's books, there's tapes. You know, if someone really understands what the ulama is saying and is preaching the right thing, and this, we come back to this. Let's say he has no tazkiyah, but whatever he's speaking is the right thing. Are you going to say to him, don't speak? Because you have no tazkiyah? You didn't graduate from Medina or Imam Saud? No. This is something new. I understand. This is something new. Now.